Hello, first graders. Miss Jin is back with our Bible lesson here. But as we begin our Bible lesson, I would like for us to be reminded of the Bible's Bible verse uh, for this unit. Can you guys recite the memory, Bible memory verse all together? Okay, it, it is not so long, the Bible verse that we have for this unit. So why don't we remind ourselves of the Bible verse together? On a count of three, we are going to recite this together. Ready, set, go. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your path. Psalm 25, 4. Okay, now let's memorize it together. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your path. Psalm 25, 4. Yes. Okay, whenever I, Miss Jen, recites this Bible verse, it really gives me strength because I feel like he, uh, God is really showing me and um, trying to teach me his way and his path. And I really want to, Mr. really want to, wants to um, live up to that. Yeah. And I would like for the first graders to think and feel the same way. Okay. So we have been talking about Elijah pauses, or pauses false prophets. And so let's re remind ourselves of the story uh, really briefly. So so first graders, do you guys remember why why did the widow offer a room or offer food and room um, to Elijah when he asked for it? She didn't even have enough food to feed herself and her son, right? But she still offered him food and a place to, st to stay. Right? some of you guys remember hospitality yeah hospitality she showed um, Elijah hospitality so what is hospitality yes is to show kindness to be kind to guests to other to other people yeah one more time everyone say hospitality right and another question, but something really sad, um, something very tragic, very sad um, happened to the widow's son. What happened to her son? Right. Her son had gotten sick and he died. Yeah, so the widow didn't know what to do. And Elijah was, um, so Elijah prayed. Uh, to the Lord to help the boy, right? He put the child on his own bed and prayed to the Lord. And what did the widow understand when God brought her son back to life? So God, after um, Elijah's prayer, God actually brought the widow's son back to life. And what did the widow understand uh, when that happened? Right. She understood that Elijah was a man of God. Right. He is the true prophet and his words were true. That's what the widow understood. He really she really understood that Elijah's words. Um, uh, are coming from God and, and they are true. Right. And that Elijah was a man of God. OK. Um, and so we'll move on to the textbook page here. So while Elijah always, um, you know, tells the truth because he is the man of God, false prophets who worshiped idol do not tell the truth, but the Bible tells the truth, right? The sentences near the bottom of the page are not true. And you're going to write the letter of the Bible verse that corrects each untrue sentence. 
So if you scroll down, or you can open your book to page 59 if you have your book with you, all of these five uh, statements, these sentences are not true. They are not true. So you are going to um, write the letter of the Bible verse that corrects each untrue sentence because they're not true. Okay, so let's try this together. Number one, using God's name to curse is no big deal. Everybody does it. That is so not true. Um, curse is to say something really, really bad. Um, using God's name. Yeah, to say something really bad using God's name. Right. So number one is um, the rule that we need to follow about how to use God's name. Yeah. And number one is so not true. So which one of these Bible verses correct number one? You shall not steal. Children, obey your parents. See that no one renders evil for evil to anyone. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Which one of these Bible verses talk about God's name? Right, letter D, right? You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Vain means useless. So there's no result. So you don't have to, you don't, you don't need it. Uh, you don't say God's name when you don't need to. Like, you know, when you're, so for example, when you're saying something bad, you should not use uh, God's name. And it says that in the Bible. So we should, uh, we should do what God told us to do. So number one is not true. And letter D, this Bible verse, Exodus 27a, correct, number one. Let's go ahead and write D here. Number two, it is okay to take a toy from the store without paying for it. Is it okay to just take a toy from a store without paying? No way. It is so not true. So which one of these Bible verse corrects uh, number two? Right. A, you shall not steal. Stealing is um, a bad thing, right, first graders? So like it says in Exodus 20, 15, when we want to buy something, we, of course, will always have to pay for it. So letter A. Number three, you do not have to forgive people who hurt you. Mm. So that's not true either. Even if um, you have a, a person or people who hurt you, you still need to forgive them because in the Bible, it says so. Which one of these Bible verse corrects number three? Right, uh, letter E. Uh, Lord God told us to forgive and you will be forgiven. I know it's really hard to forgive somebody who hurt you, but we should still forgive them because that's what God wants us to do. And God knows about everything, first graders. So even if you don't feel like forgiving the person who hurt you, God knows that that person hurt you and you forgave him or her. So it's up to God, it's up to the Lord um, how to take care of the situation. But for us, just remember um, what God told us to do, to forgive. So that's why we do it. The only one reason why we do things that we should do is because God told us to do. And that is just a way to make God happy. Number three is letter E. And number four, it is not important to obey your parents. It's not important to listen to your parents. <gasps> no way. We even talked about this Bible verse in the story um, of Kate's blue dress in reading class, right? So um, we always, always, always need to listen to our parents. And that's letter B. 
Ephesians 6, 1a, children, obey your parents. We have to listen to our parents just because the Bible said so. That's what we need to do to follow God's direction. And God wants all of us, including Miss Jen, um, to listen to our parents. So everyone should be listening to your parents as you have always been doing, I believe. So number four is letter B. And number five. If someone is mean to you, you should be mean in return. Hmm. Right, so if someone is mean to you, you should be mean in return. Really, should you? If someone hit you, should you hit that person in return? Because you're mean to me, I'm going to be mean to you. Um, not really. If you're not a children, if you're not a child of God, maybe you could. But we are all children of God. We are all precious children of God, first graders. So remember, this is not true. Yeah, so let's see which one corrects number five. Right, the last one we have is letter C here. See that no one renders evil for evil to anyone. First Thessalonians 5, 15a. So it means um, you're not going to pay another person even if he did something mean or bad to you, you're not going to repay your friend or that person um, the same way. Yeah, so it kind of goes with letter E. Very similar, right? Even if somebody did something bad to you or hurt you, you're going to uh, forgive and you're not going to do the same. Because if we do the same, we just become the same person. Yeah, become the same same person as the bad person, right? And we don't want to be that person. And so uh, we want to follow what God told us to do. You're not going to, right, um, make yourself to be evil for evil, right? To anybody. Mm, then Miss Jin, what do I do if someone is being mean to me? And if someone hurt me or hit me or something? Um, first of all, you would need, you could, um, since we're just, you know, little children, you would need to seek for help. Yeah. You need to get help from your teacher or parents or from an, an adult, um, to help you with the situation. Um, and also first graders, let's pray for that person. Yeah. Uh, whoever the person is, whoever the person who's being mean to you or hurt you or hit you. Um, or just make everything so difficult for you. Uh, let's pray for that person. Yeah, it happened to Miss Jin many times too. And I know it's very hard to pray for somebody who hurt you and being mean to you. But give it a try, you guys. You will know how much it makes you feel better once you try this. It made Miss Jin feel so much better uh, when I pray for that person and forgive that person who's being mean to me or hurt me. Trust me, you will, you will see. You will feel a whole lot better um, than being mean to that person in return. Yeah? So let's try that. So from number one through five, it's something we... I would like for all the first graders to follow um, on a daily, on a, you know, everyday life um, to just remember all of these Bible verses, not to steal and listening to your parents and not making yourselves to be evil for evil to anybody and to forgive, just forgive and not um, taking the name of the Lord. Uh, your God in vain, meaning not using God's name to, to curse, yeah, or saying something bad. So just remember all of these very precious Bible verses. Um, let's try to follow these um, in our life, okay? 
And I'll see you guys next time with another Bible lesson.